Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa atiya Allah, atiya Rasul, wa ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself, ana abdukul aji so daifu, miskinu, zalimu, jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence, that we came into this path of realities and that Allah rahmah and mercy with all but character to keep us to have an existence. And alhamdulillah this ishq and this love of Sayyidina Muhammad and in this way of love and immense love, this is a, a real love. قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُوهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَأَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ الرَّحْمَنِ الرَّحِيمِ قُلْ إِنِي كُنْتُمْ تُوهِبُونَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّبِيُونِ وَيُوهِبُكُمُ اللَّهِ That this love of Allah is an immense love and it requires proof. It requires an action and فَتَّبِيُونِي He sends all of creation and follow him Sayyidina Muhammad the one whom is the destroyer of sins and identity and will take creation back without their sins and but character to present them to Divinely Presence. And this Muhammadan way that brought the reality of Islam from the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad in the last of days to purify all of creation, whether it's the grand intercession or the intercession on a daily basis through his nation, all of that is to bring creation to its reality of ishq and love in the service of Allah and that to make our faith to be real. That these are the nights in which to remember these souls who their faith was real. Their faith was based on immense sacrifice, immense actions. That at the imitation level we have faith in which has no action. I love God, alhamdulillah. Then Allah inspire within the heart that, now I love God and I'm going to worship. And then begin with the usul and the practices within Islam. They take shahada, they bear witness, there is no God but Allah and His beloved Messenger is Sayyidina Muhammad they begin in their worship then to fast and to pray and to intend to go for hajj. And these are the signs of faith opening that I want and that's what Allah want, make your faith to be real. Just sitting and saying, I love you is nice for one day, one week, one month. But Allah is teaching us and that's why the messengers came that make your faith to be real, that put your faith into action so that it grows and faith is your greatest investment. Shaitan, you can always see the reality when shaitan is pushing on what he agree, he understands. Means that you see the reality through its opposite. The greatest investment is in faith because its return is the highest. People now looking, oh you can make on this investment this, on this crypto you can make this and all these ridiculous things that shaitan brings and they're all still just dunya and if you die you don't get any of it and Allah doesn't count any of it unless it was spent in Allah's way. And the greatest investment that we have is in our faith with the time that Allah gave to us to make our faith to be real. So then we begin to pray, we begin to fast, we begin to give our zakah, we begin to intend for hajj and every time we go for salah it's like a hajj. We're going to be with Allah Labaik, we heard the call to prayer and we came and we prayed. And all of those are great and then Allah says, now take your faith up, up because it's an ascension. Faith doesn't just stop 
that now give and support and that makes the person's faith to become very powerful. That they give from their time, they give from their effort, they give from their sustenance and every giving that they give when they increase their faith, we said like binary code that the faith becomes strong and the anger becomes weakened, their bad character becomes weakened. If the faith is not getting strong then what's happening is the anger is increasing. And in the last days Dajjal's system is meant to pull faith, to take faith away. Their faith is in money, their faith is in a return for the dunya and they have no share in the hereafter. And the counter for that, the medicine in this day and age is that build your faith for akhirah, for nothing from this dunya will save you. Means the faith they put into action. So these nights when we're remembering these immense souls, the faith of giving was other nations. That they had to give, they give, they give, they give and that their faith would become strong and strong and strong but from the reality and the blessings of Sayyidina Ismail I mean saw one of the cousins put out a video and trying to teach that what their way is real, they're ridiculous people. The reality of Sayyidina Ismail cannot be understood. And that he was the one salam, and that bloodline is a Muhammadan haqqaiq. That he was the one who came to prove to all the nations of Allah that your giving of money you should have mastered that. If you yet can't give from what Allah gave you of rizq which is like a hay for a cow, it's not a big deal. Because next is coming, Ya ayyuhal ladin amanu, amanu. Other nations their, their, their mastery was to give, 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 give. Look at now all their kanisas and all their, their temples and houses of worship, huge. And all Muslims are in warehouses. So means something is wrong. We should have mastered giving because it was a sign of faith. Do you think anything in, your, in Allah's way is wasted? Oh my account will go down and tomorrow I'll be hungry. Hungry? The one who fed you for 40 years tomorrow because you gave won't give you food tomorrow? That doesn't sound like faith. That sounds like shaitan is talking to you. Oh maybe if I go through the airport I, I'm going to take off all my Islamic identity. The one who wrote this code, wrote your name, wrote that you would be walking into that airport, wrote what that one would say to you, what you would respond, it's all been written by Allah And He wrote for you to take your Islam down to pass, there's no faith. Allah only writes the best for His servant, He doesn't write fear, that shaitan puts into your code. So we should have mastered as a sign of our faith that as much as we're giving Allah's replenishing and look at the life of, of people whom follow awliyaullah, their life are manifesting and they don't even understand how it's manifesting. But don't stop because you didn't reach yet. So you give, you give, you give so that to counter your anger, counter shaitan, every time you feel that shaitan is coming. He's coming for your faith, then give. As soon as he waswases to you, give. As soon as he makes you anger, give big. Because he just took an up, up, upper hand and smacked you. And your sign to Allah is you're just going to take that? So you smack him back, so oh, look what you made me do, now I'm going to give big in the way and I'm going to punish you. Because he's the one who puts, you're going to have nothing, fear, fear. Once we mastered that, these holy souls are teaching us, oh, what Allah is about to ask from you is much, much higher now. A nation in which 
ما هي الذنوب مو هي القلوب whom their messenger of Allah is the one who obliterates all sins and revives the souls. The qulub, what we described before is in Bahr Qudra. So this love of Sayyidina Muhammad given through this majesty of Sayyidina Ismail is teaching that my father was from that nation, that they gave, they gave, they gave. And Allah says, give me Sayyidina Ismail and Sayyidina Ibrahim said, I can't, I can't, I, I, I can't do that. And the fear of that stopped. And Allah says, I didn't want it anyways because you can't make a prophet to fail. He says, okay, I give you lamb. But this one who's coming, his nation, will be a bloodline that they give themselves entirely for Allah Not they give from their pocket, that they already mastered, but they give of themselves and they lay their life for the satisfaction of Allah A nation that comes in the last of days, they come and they chase for that reality, not hide from it become the most feared nation on earth, most feared. When Allah give permission for the light of faith to begin to enter into the hearts of people, based on what? That they did the first step, they gave, they gave, they, they prayed, Ya Rabbi make me to be sincere. Allah says, your time is running up, make your bargain. These gates that we travel through, Means we came in Muharram to Surat al-Tawbah, read Surat al-Tawbah. When Allah says, we purchased from them their dunya and we gave to them their akhirah. Means we gave to them their soul and their yaqeen and that was the best of bargains. And then Ayatul Kareem describes their bayat and that we made their covenant to be true and they kept to their ahad and their covenant. Means Allah makes their, their bayat to be true because when they gave, they sacrificed, they put their time, they put their effort. When they did all of that Allah activated their bayat and their allegiance. That they believe that Allah's hand is on their hand and that the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad is over that hand. And Allah is the all-encompassing power that their hand is on the hand of Prophet as a result of the perfection of their faith and the opening of their faith. That is a nation in which Allah begin to disseminate the lights of faith within their heart when this system of Dajjal begins to open who it is and what it is. A nation that comes in the last days is a nation that will sacrifice themselves, blink of an eye because they have a yaqeen and certainty of Allah's reward for them. If they can't sacrifice from their dunya and their hands are shaking at this point, how will they reach to certainty in which to give from themselves and give themselves? When Allah will call from them, from their families, from themselves, from their lives. When Allah says, what we called from believers before you, we'll call to you from yourself, from your family, from your wealth, from your every existence and everything of your dunya will be called from Allah And their answer to Allah that my life, my death, my salah, everything is for you Ya Rabbi. Take, what it, take from it whatever you wound from it and that my ultimate is to give myself in your way for your ridha and satisfaction whose command is under Sayyidina Muhammad And that's what these souls represent to us. 
not a cake and ice cream. But by remembering them and they come into our heart that have yaqeen and istiqam, firmness in your faith and in your character. They understand the wiles and the, the whims of shaitan that when he's attacking you punish yourself but it's not a punishment because it's a reward from Allah Keep doing these things, giving, sacrificing, giving your time, be of service. All of that opens a certainty and counters shaitan. So when somebody's saying, oh I have these energies, I don't know what to do, give. I have an anger, I don't know what to do, give. I have an addiction to bad things on the internet, give. Shaitan is slapping you and Allah's watching that, how come you're not doing anything? And they come into our lives on these holy nights and remind us that conquer these and be aware that Allah is going to ask from you yourself. Live a life in which you want to be of service to Allah And that's what they're teaching. We are of the most noble family. Allah doesn't call the poor, oh, all those who don't have job let them go. This is what these people do. They offer people money and the poor who can't eat they go and sacrifice themselves. And their example is, no we're the richest, we are the most connected. We are the children and the grandchildren and the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad And we called ourselves and Allah called for us to be of service. Allah called from ourselves, our families and our children. And we answered the call and we went, gladly we went for whatever Allah has in store for us. And their ayat is sabr. They are the signs of Allah's jabbar. That what Allah calls from them, they answered. And that sabr, that they had patience with what Allah has destined for them. And that becomes the symbol of our existence in this life. Is that Allah to dress us and to bless us. That this is a nation in which sacrifices itself. The sacrifice of wealth is at the entry level but the sacrifice of self is then at maqam al-ihsan and their perfection. They sacrifice their time, they sacrifice their ability, their nation in which they give their khidmat. That when you live a life of service, khidmat is to be of service. They don't expect a payment back but they expect the reward from Allah they gave from their time, they gave from their effort and all of that is perfecting their character, perfecting the power upon their soul. So then when Allah calls to them for themselves, now give yourself in my way. And their nation inshaAllah which to say, Samina Watana, when they see the overwhelming ocean of darkness is opening. The overwhelming tide of deceit and destruction is opening. They pray that Allah's rida and satisfaction to be upon them, to dress upon them. That, Ya Rabbi grant us that yaqeen, grant us that certainty, grant us your rida and satisfaction, grant your izzat and might upon our heart and our soul. And their replies then, follow them, follow Sayyidina Muhammad wasallam's way. Follow the way of all his holy companions, follow the way of his Ahlul Bayt. And whatever these shaykhs are teaching and giving of these realities against shaitan, the immensity of its power. If you follow it, you feel it. You feel that you're countering something and you feel that every time you counter satanic influence he's got his claws on people's hearts. And when they give and they do in the way of Allah live a life of service as if his clothes are moving because of that power and the might of that action. As soon as it moves from a satanic grasp the light begins to enter into their heart and they feel the light and they feel the love. They feel the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad because that was fatabiyuni. 
If they want my love, this is all about Allah. If they want my love, قُلِينِ كُنْتُمْ تُحِبُّونَ Allah. If you want, tell them if they want my love, فَتَبِعُونِ This ocean of the atoms, the uh, atomic reality is all فَتَبِعُونِ That is the command of love that Allah gave into the atom which we described about the nucleus and the electron. Qulini kuntum tuhibun Allah is Divine Love. So I created all of this with a strong and weak nuclear force and as a result of this emanating love that it wants me, fatabiuni, come follow us, follow the Muhammadan haqqaiq because Allah is not to be found. And as a result every electron is spinning in fatabiuni. That I'm coming, I'm coming because it, once it received a command without a nafs that electron will never stop. And then when Allah grants it, Yuhibukumullah that I granting you my love, it rises from its ishq and its love. Its spin is unbelievable speed that it's spinning at, haq. As a result Allah says, I grant you my love and it rises and the whole of this hologram of existence is based on Allah's love. Not physical lust and the things that people understand of love, it's just ayatul kareem of Qur'an. Qul ini kuntum tuhibun Allah was a command to all of the atomic elements that you are based on love and your whole existence is to come to my love and they said, yes, faqalu bala. فَاتَّبِعُونِي Now follow. As a result because <laughs> not your form is first, your atomic reality and your light is first. As a result all your atoms are فَاتَّبِعُونِي And when they're spinning so fast, Allah said, Allah. As a result of Allah's love your atoms now rise and a hologram begins to appear of you. Your light now is appearing from Divine Ishq and love. That light, Qafur, that Allah yuhibukumullah and Qafur Rahim, that upon that light I have forgiven everything wrong because your malakut and your light is never sinning. This is your, your physicality that came here that did that. But the soul never sins. Allah made it from Qafur that I have forgiven everything. It is pure and truth. So our wujud and our existence and our reality and our inner core of how we're created is proven in Holy Qur'an, Ayatul Kareem, Allah's Divinely speech that not created is teaching how you are created from my Divinely love and order, fatabiuni, follow him, fatabiuni, follow him. Who him? You? Follow you? No, follow Sayyidina Muhammad if the core of our reality is that, then imagine the immensity of bringing your physicality into that reality. The Ya Rabbi, I heard your call and I'm here. And as a result, I'm cooling into myself and my senses that what you gave of me is yours. What you gave of me of my life is yours. So how could I not live a life of service? 24 hours a day is not mine. Mine I can only find a few hours to get some rest and peace for myself. The rest are all yours Ya Rabbi. That what I do of work, what I do of time, what I do of service, back to your Divinely credit Ya Rabb. So they live a life of service and as a result they're shown that these difficulties coming onto this earth, Allah are going to call you into service. InshaAllah they dress us, they bless us and grant us from the immensity of the reality of Divine Ishq and love, the immensity that's within our entire wujud, our entire essence and soul on how it was created from a Divine love. And only the Muhammadan kingdom understand the elements of that Divine love. 
they want to attribute it only to the Divine but they're incorrect because then they're making themselves as if they're a partner with Allah You have to place the Muhammadan haqqaiq as an adab. Without the Muhammadan haqqaiq you think you are created from Allah and you go back to Allah and now you're all partners with Allah Astaghfirullah. So the Muhammadan haqqaiq is Allah's immense ni'mat that follow those whom they know the truth and they don't cross the boundary that angers Allah when creation thinks that they're going back into their Creator and they become partner with the Creator. La sharika la. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa hamdalillahi rabbil alameen ila sharif al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wa ali wa ashabihi kiram wa ala mashaykhina fi tariqatan ashbandiyyatul aliyya wa sayr wa saddatina wa siddiqin al fatiha. They don't remember these nights then they don't receive from its blessings. And then they don't remember these nights, they show that they lack the perfection of faith and they lack an immense power. Or you can't be dressed with that without proving it, that was the whole talk of love. Anyone think that they have reached to a power but yet you don't see them understanding, recognizing the immensity of these al bayt You're not then taking from their madad, you're not taking from their power, their might and their gift and their blessings. For love has to be real, remember them Allah will remember you in a higher association. So it means these are nights in which to show our love, these are the nights and days in which to bring our love to be real. And that's why most people who tune in they're learning about all of the urses and the events of Ashab al Nabi which are known throughout the Sunni world but the ishq of Ahlul Bayt that are completely untalked about. In parts of some worlds they do. But that's what so many people are coming to the channel understanding, oh I didn't know this one's like this, I didn't know even this name, I didn't know like this. And deprived of that reality means you're deprived of their madad and their support and the immense generosity flowing like Allah's gifts in the heavens and you're not trying to call on those gifts and to receive from them. Like Allah has the fruits of paradise, what are they? Why do you want food when you don't have any existence in paradise? What do you, what do you want from a river in paradise when you're walking in light? It means all of those are the ni'mat of these souls. Your ta'am and your food in paradise is to be taken from the light of these souls that fill and rejuvenate and brings the soul into an ecstasy. There's no table in heaven, we're not sitting and having kebabs of light. But the table in heaven is their ni'mat. That if Allah let you to sit in their association, what then Allah describes for our earthly understanding? That these people whom all they want is waj Allah, wajik al kareem, that they are souls whom they're trained because they have to know what they're asking for. If they're asking for Allah's face, you don't think they know what that face is? Allah describes them, these men of God, they don't want anything from you, they want the face of Allah but they feed you. What kind of people are these? You think that the kebab they're giving you and the people who are watching on the internet say, oh, I wish I had those kebabs, it's not the kebabs, it's not the meat, it's not the, the, those things. But it's the light from the soul that enters into the soul is the food of the soul, the reality of the soul. In a world in which its sustenance is light, its zikr is light. It's, it's everything is light upon light in which Allah dresses these souls and bless them from immense realities. InshaAllah Allah dress us from these lights, bless us from these lights and its understandings inshaAllah. Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha.